so me and mirror we broke down the main menu of the game like all the extra options but i kind of want to just go through the game really quickly with you guys for everyone who missed out on the beta and just kind of show you everything so you can have an idea of how overwhelming <laughs> this game is and all of its options so let's go through the battle hub and all that really quickly just to give you guys a little sneak peek of the game this is the main menu of the game when you first open it up and right off the bat you can choose battle hub world tour or finding ground if you just want to go straight into ranked and play all the modes you're used to in street fighter 5 like arcade training you can go on the finding ground you do not have to go into the battle hub and queue up there you can do it from the menu but this is not open to the beta we don't have access to this world tour is the big single player experience you can go from that and then battle hub this is the only thing available for the beta if you press start you get the big main menu we already did a video on this going through all the tips and the options which are very extensive so we don't need to go over that for this video so you guys should know most of that already the cfn is basically the whole network where it, it keeps track of all your stats and everything where you can find players so you have all your players here check your friends list all your stuff people that are trying to add you your your blacklist it shows what's going on like people that are on big win streaks and you can find them this is one way to like get noticed by other players or to find really good players that are consistently winning which i think is cool you see that there's club that's blanked out so there seems to be some kind of dojo in this game we're all really excited for this i hope there's gonna be like exclusive rooms in the battle hub that we can make hopefully there's no limit on the amount of members replays same thing just like street fighter 5 you can access and play ranked matches very quickly rankings you can see the top ranked players so we can see like the world leaderboards and all the rankings obviously there's barely any players in the closed beta so the ranks are kind of skewed right now, but you can search up your replays like you normally would. Rewards. So these are your dailies. You have various daily challenges that give you drive tickets and drive tickets is like fight money. And you can use it right now in this beta for uh, purchasing stuff for your avatar, which I'll show you guys real quick. So there, there are various things, easy things, you know, win casual matches, view the fire list. It's basically to encourage people to do all the fun things in the game. You have your news, just what's going on, like if there's a tournament going on, right? Or new costumes are out. Okay, now let's go into the battle hub. That's me, guys, with the goggles. So in here, same thing. You can see what tournaments are going on uh, from the servers, or you can do quick join, and it'll just put you into a random server with you know low latency depending on where you live, or you can manually select your server. So obviously I live in Canada, so North America is gonna be green for me. Each one of these lobbies can hold up to 100 players and it shows you, you know, how full it generally is. So, you know, let's go into a pretty crowded one. Let's go into number four. So here's the battle hub and this is amazing. Just letting you guys know too, in case you're worried about the controls is I'm using joystick right now and I can still move the camera around even though I don't have a right joystick because I'm not using a controller. You can hold R1 and you can move the camera left and right with uh, square and triangle or up and down with X and circle. We so I can still do everything on joystick. You don't need to use, you know, your controller. My brother was actually using his mouse to move around. I'm using my mouse right now. Okay, so the battle hub. This place is huge. It's a party in here. You know, there could be up to 100 people running around. Everyone's got their own avatar. So let's run around here a bit. I'll show you guys some things. First is the tournament counter. You, you go here this event. and you can enter tournaments with other people and the tournaments are all scheduled now it's disabled right now in the beta but when it was up they're holding tournaments you know like every hour and you can see it on the big screen and you can win prizes uh for winning the tournament so that's exciting you can have your own mini tournaments in your battle hub we have then we have the shop <laughs> Thanks for your patronage. so in the shop <laughs> It's, you know, it's like GTA or whatever. You can buy a bunch of things. Uh, you can use drive tickets or real money. And the drive tickets is the purple D and the fight, uh, the real money is fight coins. That's the turquoise F. Some things only cost uh, drive tickets, which is your fight money. But you always have the option if you don't want to like grind or whatever, right? And you can customize your character with a lot of cool, quirky things. We had a lot of fun with it. There's, I'm sure you guys have seen the videos. There's hilarious avatars being made everywhere. There's accessories. 
you can put on a mask and you have birdies like chings and these cat <laughs> paws and you guys get the idea and you can you know really customize your character to be your own and i didn't think much about this avatar system before but seeing the amazing avatars people have made in this game and roaming around i think it's a big part because you have to remember this game is more than just playing ranked now you know it's it's a very social thing you can chat to everyone in the lobby you know and say what's up for example what's up my friends two hours to go so it's a very social i'm really happy there's there's all chat in the game you also have like emotes you can use and stickers and and you can, if you don't want to type, you can have, there's pre-made chat too, if you don't have like a, a keyboard. I saw people get salty and people were calling each other scrubs and stuff. It was great. I love it. It's, it's as close to the arcade experience you can. No, there's not proximity voice chat guys, come on. So the main area are the, all these machines everywhere, right? So in these machines, you can watch people. So see this guy, he's sitting down this machine right now. So he's in training mode. And I can walk to this machine and play him, request fight. I can join the queue, so you get next, just like the arcade, or you can spectate. And, or you can just hang out and, and roam around. And once again, just to remind people, you don't need to sit down on this machine to play this game. Like, this is the social part of the game and it's enforced in the beta. So if you don't want to do any of this, you can play ranked and casuals just from the main menu, just like you always could in Street Fighter. It's just in the beta that you're forced to do this. So let me show you guys some more things around here. So up these stairs here. We currently have a player. <laughs> There's a little arcade spot here. This is usually where people go when they want to go in training mode and not be harassed. <laughs> but there's like, you see the photos we'll be taking here. So if you press the share button, you take out your phone and you can change a bunch of things here so for one you can see the whole lobby and you can teleport around the lobby if you want to so i can like go back to the event counter if i want so you don't have to run around and i can go and you can like just pick manually where you want to go go back to the same spot there's a lot more stuff you can do with this phone this phone's gonna be a big part of world tour so we can check out all our stuff and here's something really cool that a lot of people figured out near the end is you can take all the accessories you make and you can change the size so you can take the goggles and put them around your body buttocks and you can put on your buttocks you can put it wherever you want in your hands and you can even adjust the size and where they are it's all fully customizable for all the items, right? So now I'm walking around with these giant goggles. <laughs> it's just really fun and Capcom's not making it look... It's not serious, that's a thing. It's, it's just, all this is just for fun and laughs. And there's been, like I said, some amazing uh, avatars that I've seen uh, everywhere uh, in the game. There's the camera option, which is hilarious. So you can take selfies and post this on Twitter or whatever. There's different filters, you know, we can change the color of the game. Different effects. Pixelated. You can even change the stickers you can place on the screen. And even change the border of, of the screen. We currently have a player on a winning streak. Hold on, let me get can we get the camera right in front of my face so you guys can see. Yeah, e exactly. Easy YouTube thumbnails. Exactly. Vesper plays the first beta. Like there's, <laughs> it's so sick. Even different resolutions. 
and then you can change your hotkeys. So you have a bunch of commands too. So here are the moves, these are the master actions that you're going to get in uh, World Tour. So you can do uppercut, or my favorite, spinning bird kick. And you can just run around and just, you know, harass people. You can jump up on the machines. Man, this lobby is really tame. Oh, there we go. Here's a good one. This lobby is really tame in terms of the avatars I'm seeing. Really, really tame. <laughs> you basically can make aliens. Uh, so over here is the the old school Capcom games. You can play retro games on here. So if I want to play Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, it's on a rotation. So it's only one game at a time. And they have their own uh, leaderboards too. If you're into that sort of thing. I'm sure the leaderboards reset after a certain amount of time. But you can play Street Fighter 2 if you want, literally. Uh, you can play offline co-op, but you can play online. So games that are co-op, you can play against your friend as long as they're at your house. And there's a lot of options uh, that you can use. You can set your controls. Uh, you can set the volume. And it's just like playing in the arcade. So if you want to like relax, you know, take a break, you can play some old school games or show off to your friends how good you were at the purest of Street Fighters. I I love Magic Sword, so whenever that's up, I'll probably have a fine excuse to play it. Here's where there's big events like tournament mode that I was just showing you guys before. Or if there's be like a big tournament going on, like a CPT, I would imagine Capcom would advertise it here. And you can sit down and watch on these seats, like you can sit. And it'll full screen it for you so you can watch it and everyone can crowd around together. Over here is the extreme battle. This is like the fun, uh, you know, kind of item mode in the game with the bull and that. I showed you guys that before. You can enter here. I'll definitely show some, some clips of me playing that with Mir and Claw. And I think that's it in, in the hub. So at any time during this menu, you can press start. You can select, you can see the player list. So you can see everyone who's in the battle hub. You can also look on the big screen and the big screen will tell you who in the battle hub has the highest win streak. So you can literally say, hey, this guy's on a 20 win streak. I'm going to body this guy. And you can literally find out his name, go to his machine and challenge him, which is, which is sick. You can switch servers from here. See if we can find some aliens. Like I said, if you want to see the good ones, go on like Twitter or Event Hubs, and they have good compilations of them. <laughs> Mirror made like a, a dwarf looking character. <laughs> and like I said, guys, you're not you're not supposed to take it seriously. It's it's just for fun. I I've seen some people make their favorite characters i've seen people make like i saw one guy was omega omega rugo and he made his character look just like omega rugo and you know for your favorite character that's not in the game you can make it look like yourself and and remember this goes beyond just battle hub like showing off your avatar here friends that would be a whole community in itself but remember you're not just using this to walk around and play people you're using this you're actually gonna play as these characters I'm going to be able to go on world tour with this avatar and fight and learn moves and play the game. I just want people to understand how big this game is and how fun it's going to be outside of just playing ranked in Street Fighter itself, you know. I feel like Capcom did an amazing job with the social environment. Like I said, the first two days were really packed. I think everyone's doing their last second crunch right now, but the all chat was going. Everyone was super positive, happy, and the avatars have been hilarious. And you see all these people, all these strangers playing each other. These are all casual matches. And I, I can't wait for this game to come out and see it when it's open to public, how full these lobbies will be. It's, it's great. Uh, from here, you can also access ranked or casual so you can you can queue up while you're running around 
Uh, you can also customize uh, your title from here that you earned. If you want to change what it says on your thing, you can change the portrait. So when someone plays against you, what it shows on the back of the screen. So you can sh make Ryu have this like sprite. I'm sure you're going to have earn a lot more. You can earn them or probably buy them. You can change the effect. You can make it really like really flashy and, and customize it so it's your own. So when someone runs into you in rank, they'll know it's you before they even see your name because of how you customize your portrait and stuff. A lot of personalization in this game. A lot. You can even change the color. And if you have someone on your friends list, you can view the contacts and you can see exactly what server they're on. So you can find where your friends are and hang out with them. And it's been funny. We have ran into a lot of friends have ran into each other and that during these lobbies as people have been grinding. So yeah, if you guys missed out on the beta, I just want to give you guys like an idea of how big in the scope of this game is. I think it's amazing. It's pretty much it.